Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Bizarre Podcast. I am your host, Z Raging Shadow, and joined by me, as usual, is Sean and Tyler. What's up, guys? What up? It's been a while. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. I I don't want to talk okay. about it. Uh-huh. <laughs> let's just let's just, <laughs> let's just say after the last episode, shit did not go right. You mean from the last two episodes kinda, didn't turn out right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I kind of decided to take a break, but we're back, and yeah. So per usual, we will be going into the news, talking about it, giving our thoughts, and then we will move on to what we've been playing for the past few weeks or so. So, opening up, Far Cry 5 was announced meh. from Ubisoft. It's set to t- yeah, meh. It's set to take place in Montana. So, it's actually going to take place in America for once instead of like some like exotic. Uh, are like, we Himalayas. sure that Montana yeah, so is actually part of America? Are we sure? <laughs> like really? I'm I mean, I question it now after all this shit I seen that was going on in that trailer <laughs> was like I mean, I like the Far Cry Far Cry games in terms of like gameplay, but the story every time just kills it for me. I could stand three. Three didn't get really stupid until the ending where you like right when you met like that like ritual chick or whatever, she's like, Oh, this is your destiny and uh, blah, 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 blah. four was just outright stupid. Like I couldn't even enjoy four. I had to like force myself to play through that thing. It was so stupid. And to this day I think me and a lot of people agree that the secret ending you can get within like 15 minutes of the game is still the best ending by far. I was not even aware of this. There's a secret ending? Oh. There's a secret ending where if you played the game and he's telling and you're like at the dinner scene or whatever and Pagan Men's like okay I'll be right back just sit here if you literally sit there for a few minutes he will come back he will take you to your father's grave you'll place or not your father your mother's grave you'll place your ashes or whatever and then he's like Got it out of your system? Good. Now let's go shoot some fucking guns. <laughs> and then that's when it ends. It just ends right there. Okay. Wow. And the whole game, if you if you if you play like the actual story, the whole game you're like supposed to think, oh, this dude's evil. We have to like stop him and everything. Meanwhile, two like the chick and the dude you're dealing with, I can't even remember their names. They're the biggest idiots in the entire game, and I, just, I hate it, them so much. To be fair, so, like, stupidity isn't really evil, although it probably should be. I mean. Well, they turn. They basically turn evil at the end yeah. of it. Whoever, like, you decide to let live or whatever, they basically. I mean, Pagan Min's not even evil. He literally, like, straight up from the start, he's like, "Hey, I'll take you to you, like, I'll take you to the place to lay your mother's ashes, and then we can just like, and then I'll basically give you Kyrat. Kyrat, I think huh. that's what it's called. And that's literally what he does at the end of the game anyway, because it gives you the option to kill him or save him if you play the actual right. story. I let him live because I liked him. He. Literally, like, sure, he's a little insane, but I mean, basically, if you look at everyone in this damn area, everyone is. <laughs> so he was like the actual coolest person in the whole thing. He gave me a fucking country. He didn't <laughs> tell me I have to do this because of my father's destiny or some bullshit. So, like, yeah, I don't need this anymore. Have a country. Yeah, exactly. So, only redeeming quality of Far Cry 4 is our pagan men. Everything else I hated. So Far Cry 5, I will obviously wait for reviews first because I want to know the story aspect. Because all we know so far is like there's this religious cult. It's a religious cult militant going cult in Montana, which yeah. to me is just, I'm pretty sure that's real life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Only when Trump's president. <laughs> yeah, that's, let, let's not get but, started on that. <laughs> yeah, I t- I mean, I t- yeah, it bothers me first off, because, like, where the fuck's the government if it's just happening this? And all we really know is that you play as, like, one of three deputies that can sit there to stop them, because, yeah, it's just three cops, it's gonna be enough to take down a cult, it will. apparently. Two- I- I'm calling it, two of them will die from the first Come 15 on. minutes, and you'll be, and then, like, you'll become a bass warrior, and then some fucking foreign chicks are like, this is your destiny all along. You must impregnate me with your child to be the chosen or some shit like that. But yeah. And then it also has co-op, so I might be the only redeeming quality of the game, maybe. Is it better than the Far Cry 3 co-op? Because I hated that, that the far, co-op. Yeah, the Far game. Cry 3 co-op was literally just a campaign on its own. It was so stupid. Far Cry 4 did it with, like, but it was only certain side missions that you could do. This is, like, full-on, like, you can play as 
co-op in the entire campaign story. Like free roam? Yeah. Okay. Tis the season of uh, fr free roam games. Well, everything's it's very the season friends. of people finally realizing that people like to game with their friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Doesn't necessarily make it good game though, so we'll have to see more when they show it off. But yeah, I mean, I'm not kind of completely shit on it right now. I mean, who knows? Maybe the story will be good. But I mean, just this whole thing of like religious cults not doing it for me just yet though. But right. who knows? So, Far Cry 5 announced Friday the 13th launched last Friday. It is <laughs> June 1st day, by the way. So, if we miss anything that happened, if, like, tomorrow. Like, if Half-Life 3 is announced tomorrow, and you're like, well, why aren't you talking about that? That's because why? Because it's June 1st. Anyway, yeah. Friday the 13th uh, servers were down for, like, what, three days, basically? <laughs> I didn't get to play it until Tuesday. Same, same. I, I played a little- They were down for days? Oh yeah, I played a little of Dan and Brady, and that was it. Like, not even an hour on launch day. And my, like, even I was getting issues, like, my in-game mic wasn't working. Like, my mic was working, but, like, if I went to push to talk, my mic wouldn't work. That's funny. I don't think they were expecting, like, any traffic at all, because the, the video I, I watched how, on it said that. because um... literally they, get, they let, like, every single popular YouTuber <laughs> out there play the game. It's like, how do you not expect people to just buy your game? Well, <laughs> the, the, the video I watched said um, that the servers were, were met with thousands of people, and they couldn't handle it. Like, only thousands? Bullshit. I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't even seem it, from the twenty like ten fifteen minutes I saw of it. I'm not gonna spend forty dollars on it. I mean, I just summer sale maybe. I don't know why you just don't. It, yeah, it won't even go down that much. It'll probably go down like five bucks. But I don't know how you just like literally for like months you've had all these popular YouTubers show off your game. I don't know why you wouldn't put your service through a severe stress test of some sort. Or, you know, delay the game and make sure it's working at launch. Hadn't they already delayed the game and that's why they were releasing it then? Well, I don't care. Delay it more. <laughs> I'm, and, I see no reason it shouldn't have been released until Friday the 13th. But hey, Yeah, they could not? have waited. They could have waited until October. That would have, I'm, I'm pretty sure like I was talking with Dan about it and actually looked on the calendar and it would have been in October. How is that not would have been even more fitting. Would have been more fitting, October. And... Or maybe the bad luck would have just completely, like, the game got no support. It's just, it's just shit. Oh, it's, it's just sitting on the shelf, and they're like, oh yeah, we have to launch in like five months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, Sean obviously couldn't get in. Data login database oh. failure has become the biggest meme, or one of the biggest memes of this year so far. Friday the 13th. Oh, is it? The login failure database game. <laughs> yeah. Is it is it bigger than the H1Z1 error code? <laughs> that was pretty huge. Oh, that was an early access game. So at least there's that. This was like a full on like, yeah, this is a completed game at launch. Oh, servers are down. <laughs> How did we not see this coming? Yeah, it, it, so, so, as far as I know, all the servers are back up and running. We played little the other day. It, it's it's going to be, I think, probably a better version of Dead by Daylight. But, yeah, I'm already thinking. I think I'm already enjoying it a bit more in Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight kind of got repetitive and a lot of bullshit because literally all it is is I would save someone's ass and they would leave me to die. <laughs> Wins repeat. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was fine with friends, but. Friday well, I think uh, Dead by Daylight had better, like, scares than Friday the 13th will, because Friday the 13th, I mean, you're always up against Jason. And you, it's easy to know how he operates, but with Dead by Daylight, like, you never knew which slasher you were up against until... Yeah, I think it's because like, it's, it's, it's a lot more confined to a smaller area. So when, like, the yeah. music picks up, you don't see him until he turns a corner, you're like, oh, fuck, shit. Jason, you kind of yeah. just hear that. Or, or, you know, when Mike Myers just comes creeping out of a cornfield. Right. <laughs> but, yeah. And then, uh, 
a issue that's been going around having to do with Overwatch. Uh, anniversary loot box issues. Basically, people are complaining about because if you look at the new anniversary event, if you add up every single item or new item that came with this event, it would cost you about 56,000 credits. I think like 33 of that is the 11 legendaries skins and then you figure every single hero's dance emote is 750 each so people are kind of pissed because that's a lot of credits that people don't have <laughs> yeah and with only three weeks to get them and if you're not buying loot boxes you're gonna most definitely probably not get even like half what? of what you want so people are complaining that Overwatch that Blizzard gave them more content than they can buy. Kind of petty. They're more complaining. Well, because... there's that, and there's the fact that like there was no apparently, like there was no like boost in the percentage to get the anniversary items out of the anniversary oh, boxes than the yeah. normal legendaries. And... Gotcha. It, 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 they didn't. Oh, they're, they're basically okay. That's kind of scummy. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're basically trying to complain or say that Blizzard. It's kind of like cheating them with these loot yeah. box things. I ain't have that luck or that bad luck. Then again, I bought two hundred, um, but you bought enough to cover everything anyway, so you can shush. Yeah, I think I think another thing I have to do with it is that we just had an event end. We had an uprising in like the beginning of May, and so not even a month later, who we are with already another event. Obviously, it's like enough time for a lot of people to save up. Especially when Blizzard yeah. doesn't announce most of their, you know, events like half a week before it actually goes out. So, I mean, I hope Blizzard fixes it. I mean, I do kind of see where people are coming from with this whole, you know, we're not getting what we want. And it's the anniversary when we get like a certain amount of time to get it. I mean, I, I honestly, I don't even think those dancing modes should be tied to the event. I feel like those should be like something you could get throughout the whole year. I don't know why those would yeah, be tied to one bullshit. event. Yeah, it's, that's like saying if you tied, like, the sitting emotes, like, the Halloween event, because that's when it came around that time. Yeah. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, delayed to 2018. Who saw that coming? Not me, right? It was, <laughs> it was originally scheduled for fall of this year, but without really even seeing anything. I'm assuming it's rumored that we'll be getting gameplay at the end of the Sony E3 press conference. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, Rockstar and them have been doing something lately. I mean, that's where they also announced that GTA 5 was coming to PC and next-gen consoles. Like, 2014, something like that. So. I wait, wait, wait. Well, this is, you said GTA 5. Yeah, no. No, I was saying Sony and... Rocks are gonna team up again because they did so in 2014 oh, when they gotcha. were announcing GTA 5 next gen PC. Oh, uh, I gotcha, gotcha. So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually did show off some Red Dead 2 gameplay at Sony's conference this year. I mean, how different can it like actually look though? I I don't know what I'm expecting really. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. Wow us, I guess. I like the multiplayer aspect of two so far. Or like that we're gonna be able to like because it's basically i'm seeing it similar to what they do with like gta 4 but like gta 4's multiplayer was just like a complete free roam mess where it's literally just everyone spawn in the same area and kill each other over and over uh, i was like wow this is so boring and then with gta 5 they kind of amped it up and you, like now to this day you have all these like different missions heist uh microtransactions to hell but still oh like, it's new content that's constantly coming out so I'm kind, of ho I'm kind of hoping to see out Red Dead 2's multiplayer. Just so much content coming out for like years to come. Because I would love a Western open world multiplayer game. I mean, Red Dead 1 obviously had it, but it was still sort of same with GTA 4. Where it was just, you know, go around and constantly shooting each other. So. And then a new Dragon Age is in the works, confirmed by Sunless Sea writer. So, I honestly... I'm not surprised that that would be a fourth one. I still need to be... I'm just wondering when they're finally going to turn it into an MMO. Right. I I, 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 mean, st I still they... need to beat Inquisition. Because I haven't beaten it. Because the completionist in me was yeah. like, I need to beat all these side quests. But 
when half of those side quests are literally, yeah, go gather like 20 nin root for me or some shit like that. It's like, right. I, I, I get bored and like, I only get like 20 hours <laughs> in the game before I'm like, okay, I just, I need to stop. And that and the, the characters aren't really interesting. I, there are a few, some interesting ones, but for the most part, a lot of them are straight up boring. I, I'm not gonna lie, like for me, the best part about Dragon Age is messing around with Anders. <laughs> So without him, I'm just like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll ever get Dragon Age Inqu or Dragon Age Origin good, but I mean, that's yeah. uh, only being. We can hope. Yeah, we can hope. But yes, and then finally, some of the news: E3 is in fact coming up. It takes place in like two weeks, actually, less than that, actually. Like a one and a half. Yeah, it starts on the thirteenth, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, no. It starts uh on the tenth, I think. Technically, e on the tenth uh, Saturday, EA will be doing like their EA is branching out from E three kind of doing like their own things, like EA Act, not EA Access. This is something they're doing like their own little show, and it's gonna take okay. place on Saturday, and the eleventh. And then uh, the Probably. and then the next day Sunday on the eleventh is when all the actual conferences start, like Bethesda and Microsoft and all that. And then Monday night we get like Sony, and the thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth for just kind of like the rest of the days where people are just like streaming games and all that. So, yeah. So I kind of just want to know what are some upcoming games that you guys are looking forward to at E three. Uh, Sean, you want to go first, or I really don't have an answer. I'll go. Oh, I'll go ahead okay. and go. Give you time to think, Tyler. So first, okay. first game, Spider Man PS4. Wait, I was unaware of this. I went through like a bunch of stuff. What? <laughs> You're just now like, finding like Toby, Toby Maguire Spider Man or Insomnia Games is making a uh, Spider Man game. Awesome. It's gonna be. I mean, we've barely I'm seen. I'm not gonna care to buy it. We've barely seen much of it, other than, or Insomniac, not Insomnia, Insomniac. But we've barely seen any of it. But from like the small gameplay we did see, I'm getting like serious Spider-Man Two vibes. You know the good game, <laughs> the only yeah, good Spider-Man yeah. game. I was getting serious vibes off it. It looks graphically beautiful. First off, Sony does a pretty good job with that with their exclusive titles. And like we really didn't see much. The voice actor, he he sounds like he'd be good, Peter Parker. But yeah, I'm hyped. And I mean, other than that E3 tr showing we saw last year, we really haven't heard anything other than that they want to go for a fall release this year. Maybe they'll still do that. I wouldn't be surprised if it got pushed back to like early next year. I would love for it to come out this year, but we already get so many games I think can afford to have it pushed back a little. But yeah, I'm a, I'm expecting a release date for it this year. And then I've, honestly, I'm just looking forward to Sony's press conference as a whole in general because they've killed it the last two years. Last year they had like an orchestra and shit going on with the games that they had orchestra intro, <laughs> introduced a new God of War game. How awesome is that? And yeah, it's always it's always a good time every year to just chilling in the chat and watching the stream. I'm also looking forward to seeing some State of the K2. From Microsoft, the first day of the K wasn't anything like outstanding. It was just like your standard survival or single-player survival zombie game. But it definitely made you think that they can't prove a lot on the game. So I'm hoping to see what they do with two. And then I'm also looking forward to see if Thieves, because that looks like a fun game that we could all play. Us just drinking you know, a boat and then getting into tire fights, not like you know. I don't know. I mean, it's just looking interesting. I, I want to see more. I haven't really shown off a lot other than the last E3 as well. Other than that, everything else is purely speculation and still under opinion if uh, I'm excited for it or not. Ubisoft's obviously got their cringy uh, conference that we're going to have to watch painfully. Oh, I'm excited for that as well. And then... That's about it for me, Tyler. If you got anything, okay. So the big two things. Uh, I don't know how much of this came out before, or if this is actually coming out at E3. But um, 
Uh, the, f the first thing is apparently there's going to be more uh, Mario Odyssey gameplay shown. I would be I'm surprised. Super, yeah, I'm super excited for that because we only... I mean, we, we we got a glimpse of like a bunch of different locations, but like nothing else... For the most part, it was like the, of the actual it game. It was like the launch trailer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I'm super excited with that. And also um, more... Uh, it's either gameplay or, or, or something about um, Sonic Mania, which is another game I'm I'm really uh, excited for. Sonic Mania. You're gonna make your own persona. What's that? You're gonna make your own persona. Probably. <laughs> Long right Mania. after I Google what that word means, I will. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I, th I think I heard about this. Wasn't you're gonna be able to make your own Sonic oh, character oh, in Sonic oh. Mania? Uh, yeah, no, what... that, that's the other Sonic game. Sonic Mini is the the two D one. The that game is like the oh, inspiration. Okay. Ah, wow. yeah, yeah. Uh, gotcha. And I, I absolutely am. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna make like the greatest furry that ever has become. Greatest furry to ever furry. Ever furry. Correct. Uh, I'm super I'm super excited for that, but not as much as I am Mania. Correct me if I'm wrong, Tyler. Isn't this the Sonic game that Sega had fans come in to make with? resources or something like that or well that which one the the 2d one yeah uh sonic mania um so basically um christian whitehead was the guy that did the the sonic ports on um mobile devices which turned out to be like the best versions of of those games right and uh, he made like a couple like rom hacks or like fan games before that and uh that and yeah so they brought him and then i guess he has like a partner or whatever with his engine to and then he's taken over the next main sonic game which is good because they've almost killed like the franchise and their company like two times now. oh yeah so jesus sonic boom and like sonic 06 and they just don't know how to make games so i mean and there's like sonic free and, lyric or something like that lyric Oh, yeah, the Rise of Lyric, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, Jesus. So, I'm super excited for that. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, it looks, it looks like, like just a good casual throwback to the old Sonic games. Um, that yeah, looks interesting. absolutely. Yeah, and, and, um, I, there, there was one other thing. Sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. Um, I, uh, I saw somewhere that, like, Nintendo had, like, a, a big, like, reveal of something. Uh, I don't really have like a, a comment on that, but I'm super curious of what that is because I don't know what else they could announce. If it's but, another uh, console, it's I gonna... swear to God, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's you know it, they'll probably show off more of the um, 2DS XL or whatever. Probably, but it's either gonna be amazing or just really bad. And no one cares. Yeah. So, yeah. And Sean, you said you didn't really have anything. I really don't. I'll see what happens when it happens. You know what I would love to see? Mm. Actually, I'll bring it up later. Alright, so, now on to games we've been playing. So, who wants to start us off for the games we've been playing for the past while now? Well, oh. you start us off because you have like a paragraph of games you've been playing. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll go through most of them and then I'll save a certain one for the very last. Because it's going to be a bit of a rant. Okay. So, Injustice 2, picked it up on launch day, loving it ever since. It's by far one of my favorite games from ne NetherRealm now. I love the whole, first off, I love the story. Like, I, was, I genuinely felt like I was watching an episode from Justice League Unlimited. And, like, I had such a nostalgia feel. While, I mean, it's a short, but, I mean, it's a fine game, and it's NetherRealm, so of course it's going to be short. But it doesn't, it was, I got serious nostalgia vibes from it. The multiplayer and the whole gear system works perfectly. A lot of people had the concerns with the whole gear system and how it's going to play in. It does play into multiplayer, but it doesn't play into ranked, so that's good. So you'll get your ass kicked in the ranked from someone that has better gear than you, but you won't get your ass kicked in ranked. Ranked's just like full out like fair ground. So the gear systems I like in terms of cosmetic looking wise because it does look fucking cool as hell. Because is basically being able to customize your own hero or your favorite superhero and how they look. I'm currently working on making my Batman look as badass as possible. I'm like at level 14. I'm almost to 20, which is like the max level for a character. So hopefully I start getting some more legendary drops and all that. And I'm also working on Supergirl and Black Canary. But yeah, I'm enjoying it a lot. It, I don't play as much as I have been the first two weeks it was out. It's more something I'll just play if like it's the middle of the night and I have nothing to do. I'll just start up, go into the multiverse, 
and then just play some rounds for some loot and shit. So I'm enjoying Injustice 2. It's by far one of my favorite games this year so far. Never Realms did a fantastic job. Uh, Friday the 13th, obviously we talked about that. Uh, we didn't really talk about how much we've, what we thought gameplay wise. Gameplay wise, it's all right. I do maybe see at some point Jason getting nerfed just a bit. He's not too powerfully OP, but I don't know. I don't really like the whole idea that of uh, him being able to pick your counselors up and instantly kill them just like that. Obviously, most people will try and find like an environment kill to get way more XP. But for... well, I mean, the thing is, if the counselor has a pocket knife, they can escape. True, true. I guess that's fair. But it's just it's it's small stuff like that. Other than that, it's pretty yeah. fun. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like one of my favorite games this year just because of how much it's pissing me off with this whole server thing. But <laughs> for the part I have been playing, it's been mostly enjoyable. I know Sean, you've been playing it too, so I don't know if you went out on that or anything. Yeah. I I haven't played enough of it to really form an opinion. I mean, it, it's going to be a fun game. I don't know whether it's going to be a difference between playing with just us and friends or if I go into like public lobbies and try to play. I don't know if there will be a difference of enjoyment, but because I know like Dan's been having fun because he'll end up being a counselor in a public lobby and they'll see someone put together the boat and they run away to get one of their friends and he takes off with it. So. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Dan, dirty Dan. Which I mean, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's a perfectly valid thing to do. I mean, uh, shit. All right, whatever That's gets in the line. That's a dirty Dan. That's a dirty Dan. Exactly. I mean, hey, hey. The, the task is to survive, <laughs> man. Thanks for my boat. Now, fuck you. Oh, that's hilarious. But yeah. The only thing I'm also concerned with is the t like the lifespan of the game. Because I can't see it being something that everyone just stops playing I, at a certain amount of time. Yeah. Before they just start going, you know, this is repetitive or it's fun, but there's just not enough here to keep me playing. So, a lot of people have been arguing up the $40 price tag and saying that there's not much. I mean, it is kind of true. I mean, you're given like one mode, one Jason, a few counselors, go at it. I yeah, I can't. I, I think I, I, can't I, I, think, I, I think I would have said like thirty max, and that's being like generous. But yeah, I've been playing some of that. Uh, me and Sean have been playing some Age of Conan, haven't we? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure playing is the right word for what you do. What you talking about, Smarty Pants? <laughs> no. <I'm not>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't played too much, or at least I haven't played too much of it to form an opinion. Obviously, it's kind of just looking like your standard MMO. I haven't really... It is a low-tier MMO, but it's set in the world of Conan the Barbarian, which is why I'm playing it. <laughs> yeah, there hasn't been really anything in the game yet. It's been go, wow, this is really a great game so far. It's, it's okay. I mean, I haven't run into any issues or anything. So it, It's a fun little thing for the time... That it came out. <laughs> yeah, we need to play more. Yep. But yeah, we've been playing some of that. Uh, I did play some of the Gwent open beta. So if you're not familiar with what Gwent is, it is basically the card game from The Witcher 3. It became so popular that they turned it into own, their own little free game. And it's an open beta right now. And I got my ass handed to me by AI. I went in, skipped the tutorial, was like, yeah, I remember how to play. I fucking... The thing is, when I first played The Witcher 3, I completely skipped the Wink games. Just because I heard how massive the game is, I was like, I don't have time for a card game, whatever. And so I skipped it. You're already getting a massive game. <laughs> yeah. So, second playthrough, I came in, did every single side quest. I loved the game, had my own badass deck pick out and everything. And so, when I heard about the they were making a standalone game, I was like full on for it. And so... It's completely different from the way I play in The Witcher. Like, each. It's like. It still keeps the standard decks that you have from The Witcher 3, where it was like you have the Nilf Guardians, you have the Redanians, you have all those. Like, you have the Skelligans, you have all these different cards and with classes and everything, but so completely different because I'm not used. Because, like, all these cards have, like, 
way different abilities that you couldn't have in the original game. And so it's like, it's trying to get used to all these new abilities. This new layout, which is like a lot better than from The Witchers. Like it's a lot more polished and everything. Could do with a bit of tweaking UI wise and everything. But for the most part, it's completely different. I got my ass kicked, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm ready to learn more and how to be able to play the game again because I'm gonna have to adapt if I wanna keep playing because I got my ass handed to me. All right, did they like change like the, the core card game itself or no, they just had it, a whole bunch of it's new stuff? It's pretty much the same, you know, a uh, player with the most points wins and it's that's it still goes by that and then you have like your three rows of what you can put cards in and everything but it's for the most part it's just card individual abilities themselves that have changed like i'm getting a whole bunch of cards uh, i've never had before i mean obviously you're gonna need to have new cards in a game surrounded that's basically solely based on gwen but so, so i was getting a lot of cards i never recognized or that were completely new or even some cards that had actual abilities to them this time and i was just like what so, it's it's just gonna take a bit of learning practice to you know get down and everything, but I'm excited for it. I can't wait till it actually goes free to play, and it's ready and everything. Uh, oh, so it is gonna be free to play. That's cool. Yeah, and then Overwatch Anniversary, obviously, been playing a lot of that. I already got all the items. Comp started last night. We're getting ready to play that later today. Can't wait to be placed in high silver, even though I was low mid gold last season. I'm going right back down to bronze, I swear. Yeah. I'm <laughs> never leaving bronze. <laughs> so. The thing with Sean is Sean only needed to win like two or three games, and he could have gotten out of. Or, or actually, he could have won like six games, he could have gotten out of bronze. So. We could do that. And then there's one other my, game. My rage won. meter can't handle playing that much. Oh, I know. I know, buddy. <laughs> And there was one other <laughs> game I've been playing, but I'll save that for the last, because that is, in fact, the rant. But, who wants to go next? Uh, I don't have that many others to I talk mean, about, so... I, I really only have one game that I want to talk about, so you can go ahead, Sean. I'll hop in, so, uh, start playing Black Desert Online. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard uh, you, Brady and Alex and Dan have all started, like, a cult or something in that game. A cult? <laughs> So, here's the thing, like, I don't know what's up with Brady and Alex, but they've gone, like, full-on, like, misery-level obsession with the game. Whatever. Um, they just, for me... They just leave it up all the time. It's like, just in Discord. Yeah, They're no. still playing. How the hell no. are they still playing? Oh, they're fishing for fucking items or shit. <laughs> yeah. But for me, like, it's a beautiful game, and I love the combat system, but the storyline... I'm only going to make it through that game with one character, and then I'm probably going to say, nah. Because the storyline is absolute shit. Like, it's the worst MMO narrative I've ever seen. Because, like, you can tell what's going to happen way before it happens. So, looks beautiful, combat's amazing, but there's a lot of other shit besides combat that clutters up the game. So, meh. Um, trying to get through Baldur's Gate, because I want to do all the old isometric RPGs. Right. Finally. And do it again, because I haven't done it, I haven't played it in years. Like, years, years. Like, back when the first Baldur's Gate first came out. Mm -hmm. So, plan is to beat Baldur's Gate, go on Baldur's Gate 2. Um, maybe if the summer sale is extremely kind, I can get the uh, Siege of Dragonspear expansion for Baldur's Gate 1 and play that and then there's Icewind Dale so we'll see how that goes and then uh, I'm out of school so I can play Marvel Heroes again where I'm, still trying, where I'm still trying to cosmic prestige a character uh, I don't know if I've said this before but to cosmic prestige a character you start from level 1 and you go through again and there are multiple levels of prestige the final level your experience is cut down to a quarter of what you would usually get. Oh my god. That's fucked. <laughs> no, here, here's the thing that's just going to make make it seem like I'm crazier than I actually am. You don't actually get anything for doing this other than your name changes color in chat Woo! whenever you're on that character. And 
you get bragging rights for doing it. So yeah, you're I sat through, through all this all bullshit for no reason other oh, than and, color and name you, change. And you can get you can you can buy a shiny uh cosmic prestige uh Iron Man mini pet. <laughs> what so a gone. small Iron Man that follows you around? Yeah. Or like an iron dog, that'd be cute. Iron no, dog. it's a, it's an Iron Man with like oh. the, it's either the Golden Age or Silver Age armor that looked really basic. Yeah, <laughs> except it's gold. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So I've been doing that forever, and I've only gotten up to level forty-one or forty-two. <laughs> it's 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 a lot of doing. It's a lot of doing. Right. And then, I guess, the only other thing I have to say is next week I'll be starting my uh, run through Telltale games. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to see that shit. Yeah, even though I don't have all of them, I'm just going to play through what I got. <laughs> I want. I really just want to hear his reactions to all the... Ev just literally everything that happens in Tales from the Warlands. <laughs> well, that's going to be the first one I do, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Tyler. Uh, so the only game that I've been really been playing recently is uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I got it, um, I was like almost half a week ago or whatever when I went to Megacon in Orlando, Florida. And it's 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 just a game about you're, you are a defense attorney and you have to take on five separate cases. And it's full of like that super cheesy comedic like anime dialogue and, and whatnot. But it, it, it's it's awesome because it's like the only game that I've 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 personally played where I have to really like think and consider everything that's happened to solve whatever like puzzle that I'm on, and it's really awesome so far. I haven't really put it down. Now, I'm only on chapter three out of five, and it's like ten hours into the game, and it's only a DS game. So damn. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Sounds interesting. I mean, you and me yep, have also been playing Serious Sam three. Yes, uh, the not Doom game. The not, the not Doom game, but a Doom game. <laughs> It's fun. Oh, yeah. I, I, I enjoy that. I'll definitely say that much. It has that it, cheesy dialogue mixed with like a Duke Serious Sam who's like your like second version of a Duke Nukem mixed with like fun, hilarious insta kills with melee kills and all that. It's it's definitely my fun. god. I'll never forget the Suicider Hill moment. <laughs> Just like ten it, like it definitely twenty had, screams. It definitely has a lot of those like oh my fucking god no moments where like <laughs> we'll just be walking and then all of a sudden over a hill you're here Arr! and then you know, you just then, see like, all these suiciders running. Yeah, there's like 30, 40, 50 fucking suiciders running at us and all we have is a pistol. It's awesome moments like that that make make me really enjoy the game. The combat's fun. Yeah. Dialogue's cheesy as hell, and there's, you know, dialogue. There's not really that much. I'm just overall enjoying it, or enjoying it. The yeah, story. We need to play. Like story. Don't worry. Really, oh yeah. Storing it. I'm in storing. <laughs> I'm in storing. That was like. Not quite sure what that means. But yeah, all right. That was me mixing enjoying with something. I don't know. <laughs> but the story. The story. I mean. The story is like, eh. I mean, there's nothing really like mind blowing. Is is there I a story? Really I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. He like goes and he kills aliens. And he's I, like, I think What's that, that. I think that's back up. I think I think that's just supposed to be the story. Just kill all the fucking aliens. And there you go. I don't know, man. I I honestly couldn't care if we could <laughs> skip the and the the the, the cheat console commands don't work in multiplayer. It makes oh me yeah, so, this so motherfucker's so trying to get like infinite health <laughs> and fucking cheat me and shit. Fuck you. <laughs> that's rude. It is rude. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I'm like till they <gasps> it has a console. <laughs> <laughs> Commands galore. Well, I, oh well, I guess I'll move on to the final it's, game. Of I think playing. it's time for the rant. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, I just beat the final episode of The Walking Dead, A New Frontier, which came out Tuesday. Beat that day came out. That, like I said, that was the finale of the story. I don't even know where to begin. I have thought so much in this rant, I just don't even know where to begin. All right. So... New Frontier, I'll go ahead and explain first, is basically, I guess, technically the third season in Telltale's The Walking Dead game. But I, they didn't call it season three. I think they're saving it for next season. Because, without spoiling much, next season has already confirmed that Tell, it, or it will star Clementine again. So I think that's maybe the one they'll call season three. Because this was more of like a spinoff, because you didn't really 
Clementine wasn't really the main character this season. So, first issue of this whole game, like we're starting right from the bottom. First problem with this game, it don't play as Clementine in the game. You play as her for small flashback tidbits, and that's it. I can understand them wanting to branch out to like new characters and new stories, but when it's done with such uninteresting characters, you can't, you don't care. So this... they couldn't get someone that was as uh, believable and interesting a character as Clementine. Okay, so well, saying. the protagonist you play, Hobby, he is actually somewhat interesting. I'll give him that. He's not boring at all. Especially with how you shape him and everything. He's somewhat interesting. For, for, granted, I would rather prefer Clementine, but still. They at least got him right. The okay. side characters that you start off with as him in the game, they're in, they're okay as well. They're not too bad. I mean, they're, they're like, there's like your standard just family or whatever. So... It's literally every other character I have a problem with in this game. None of them are as interesting or as memorable as the ones from Season 1 and Season 2. Season 1 and Season 2, I can name off every character back back in my head. Because they all had an interesting, like... They they were all straight up interesting. They, like... They, okay. they, they, they're what made the game interesting for you. Along with the journey. Season 3, I couldn't remember half the characters that killed off in this game. I couldn't really care about any of them. They were so uninteresting, and yet the game wants the game is trying to get you to care about them. It's like, look, just it's throwing situations at you where like you're like, oh, I can't let him die, but at the same time, I'm just like, rah, I really don't care if he dies. So first problem is un un uninteresting characters. Protagonist is all right. The story, again, without this spoiling it, is literally if you play it, you would understand. It's literally just going in a giant circle. From point A to point B <laughs> to satisfying. point from point A to point B to point A again, you're literally just going in a fucking circle. You literally like by the end of the game, you don't feel like you accomplished a lot at all. <laughs> awesome. The ending does tease, obviously, like I said, Clementine coming back for next season. And what's interesting about the ending, though is that you can actually shape Clementine into her own character and a stat sheet will show up saying, okay, she was this kind of person or she was this kind of person. Huh. Depending on your choice from season two ending and then okay. any choices she made in the flashbacks of the season. But that's the thing is they take what everyone considers as one of the best video game characters of this generation and limit her to a secondary role. Sometimes she's on screen, majority of the episodes she's not. Because they want to branch out with characters and everything. I get that, but she's the face of this game now, or this game series. She has been since, like, season one, after Lee died. And no, I'm not going to throw in a fucking spoil. If you haven't played season one already, you either don't care, or you don't care. I'm not going to fucking <laughs> apologize for one. If you haven't played already, whatever. I mean, I don't well, know how you... you disregard yeah. the spoiler warning and insult them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm pissed off, but yeah, she's been the face of The Walking <laughs> Dead, and I mean, I really don't know what else to say, and that just pisses me off that she's not the main character, and that the dialogue is weak. R literally, it suffers from what a lot of other Telltale games, where it's like you go to say this, and you think he's gonna say this, but then like he completely rewords it so that you sound like an asshole almost, basically. Oh, I hate that. It's like, wow, I look like a dick now. And I wish I could reselect the chapter because I didn't mean to say it. But, oh, guess what? Telltale's been, hasn't done chapter select since, like, Batman because not enough people use the feature. So, literally, if you make a mistake in game or something where you didn't mean to do this, guess what? You have to restart the entire episode in order to fix it. Can't do chapter select anymore. Dialogue's weak. Uh, God, what else was there? The whole setting just really is uninteresting to me. There's nothing interesting about it. Oh, oh, the villains are weak as fuck. Couldn't even like remember their names. If they're even considered villains at this point. It's just, yeah. It's just a giant circle. I mean, am I glad I played it? Sure. I mean, I wouldn't... I would rather just continue with Clem's story, but... 
Honestly, I think season four or season three, whatever the fuck they're gonna call it, this needs to be the last season of The Walking Dead. I guarantee you it's not because Telltale is gonna try and milk this as much as possible because they already know people are reading and selling their bullshit with like, their choices don't matter. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Guess what? In this game, guys, in a Telltale game, your choices don't matter. Your, your, your choices don't fucking matter. There's a situation where you can save a character or let them die. Guess what? Five minutes in the next episode, they die in the most hilariously stupid way that even the characters are silent because they don't know what the fuck just happened. It's so stupid. It's, just, it's pissing me off that Telltale keeps doing this. Your choices matter for the, your chest, or your choices have never mattered more than this. They've said for this final episode, and it's such horseshit. But yes, next season needs to be the final episode or the final season. Because what they set with the ending of season or New Frontier is they have a chance to just like say, hey, this is the end of the story. But I guarantee you they're not. They're going to try and milk it for all its worth. They're going to just like have a bunch of bullshit happen that is so unrealistic that it's like, oh, well, now we got to go into the next season because you're going to want to know what happened next. So. I just want Wolf Among Us season two. Can I just have it? Yes. Fuck. Please. But if they fuck that up too, then keep it. So here's a question: Have you actually read the comic book yet? I have not. I need to at some point. You need to. I know. Just imagine uh, the Once Upon a Time TV series, except actually good. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that harsh? <laughs> no, I just. I, I, it's just my girlfriend was watching that show and like. It looked cheesy, cheesy. I didn't really know what it, to think about it, and now I know. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, there's my. The show has one good thing going for it, and that's it. Has Rumple still skin in it? Yes. <laughs> I knew it. He's the only good part about that show, in my opinion. Well, okay, him and the Evil Queen. But yeah. I'll stop now. There's, <laughs> yeah. there's my rant. I wish it was longer. I can't wait to think. I did wake up like an hour ago. The whole, oh. The, um, summing it up. Sorry, sorry. Continue. Uh, summing it up the whole season is just by far a disappointment. If you look at like what they did with season one and even season two, this falls completely flat in what you would think Telltale would be able to do. I mean, even they tried to fix it with episode three because it... The, they had episode one, two come out at the same time. Then they del then episode three was like literally like what three, four months before it came out. It was ridiculous. It's stupid. And the end that was probably honestly the most disappointing ending in all of it. Or not the uh, I'm sorry, but probably the most disappointing episode of it all because the whole thing felt so fucking rushed. Because from like season three to five, you could tell they're just like trying to rush you to the finale. Like we need to get here as soon as possible. So. Disappointing. I'm pissed off. Am I glad I, I enjoyed the journey a bit, but still overall at this point. And there's my. Rant. There is, there. There's one thing that we haven't talked about yet. The um the trailer for the Castlevania series on Netflix uh, finally came out. <laughs> Have you guys seen it? Yes. Yes. I was not expecting it to be an anime, but I am not complaining. And also that is like a reproduction cartridge on the top of the NES at the beginning. I don't know what that what the hell that thing is. Doesn't matter. I'm high. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't matter, but like <laughs> I just why would they go to like a shitty flea market and pick up Castlevania? Why wouldn't they just use I don't know. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't judge it. <laughs> We're looking too much into this. Because it's going to be an original story, yo. Original uh, yeah. story equals the need for an original cartridge. <laughs> that no one has ever played it on, because it's, it's a freaking reproduction cartridge. Oh god, I'm super excited. I never about said it. they did it well, I just, <laughs> you know, possible explanation. I'm just... <laughs> I mean, it, it may be an official cartridge. I can't, I can't see them actually using, like, a, a third-party cartridge, but, like... I just, it's a red clear plastic. Why can't you have the hideous gray plastic that, that all the other NES cartridges are made with? Like I say, just, you're looking way too much into this. 
You need that. It's the only detail I dislike. I got. I, I, I got a nitpick. All right. <laughs> Like, and also, that wasn't the beginning, like, that. it wasn't the game, it, like, flashed a couple, like... I'm depressed, guys. <laughs> the cartridge depressed you. What the hell? <laughs> it completely ruined my hype for the series. I, I, I could have sent them a generous donation of one Castlevania game, and they would have, it would have fixed all the problems. <laughs> Please, reshoot. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, shoot! I'm protesting this. I'll stand outside my uh, TV. Jeez. Uh, yeah. That, that, that's that's it. Witcher is also getting a series. I'm looking hyped for that. It's it's coming. Really? It, yeah, it's coming from yeah. the author though. The same guy who hates the video games. So. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Why am I the only one who feels like? Just because it has Witcher doesn't automatically mean it'll be routing it about. It'll be about Geralt. Why do I feel like this is gonna be like some sort of like spin-off bullshit where it's like, oh, we're gonna focus on this Witcher instead or something? I, mean, I don't know. I'm just I'm looking out for my 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 favorite new series on Netflix. Hopefully, <laughs> please don't. All right, stop. I'm watching the trailer now. For what? Yeah, it's not even the, the original art on the label. And the CR has net. Oh, it's red because it's a Netflix show. Okay. Jesus Christ. Right, I'm not mad <laughs> anymore. Really? Wow. <laughs> That's all it's sure? Told. Oh, it's red. Okay, I forgive it. <laughs> now I get it. I get it. Jesus. All right. Well, they're doing that. If there's anything else we want to add to the podcast, I think that about sums it up. It's been yeah, cool. he's excited for Castlevania. I'm excited for the prequel to Dark Crystal. So Netflix is fucking tearing it out, man. Which is being done with the Jim Henson Company, so they're not just trying to rip him off. Yet. You shut your heart <laughs> out. Don't don't even try me when it comes to anything Jim Henson or Muppet related. <laughs> <laughs> I will fight you. <laughs> God, you just remind me of uh, of a, a uh, Angry Joe rant. <laughs> one one of his videos got claimed, and he was like, "I will fight you on the side of the street." <laughs> I'll fight you in the street. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, I don't understand. Oh my god. Alright, well, that's gonna do it for us here at the Bizarre Podcast. Thank you for watching. This was like, what, episode 4 or 5? Something like that. Yeah. We'll keep up with... You'll you'll um, number it properly, yeah, so... I'll number it properly. I think. Yeah. Hopefully I number it properly. Like, welcome to episode 9! <laughs> just, just call it a reboot, we'll be fine. Reboot, reboot episode 1. Oh, that'll get us a lot of clicks. <laughs> You're right, that'll get us a lot of clicks. Just do it. <laughs> reboot of a that's podcast. Awesome. And then in like 10 episodes, we'll do a reboot again, so it'll be a rebooted reboot. We're not DC, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but look at the money they get. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I am the Rage of Shadow. Thank you for joining me, Sean and Tyler. No yep. Problem. And we will catch you guys on the next podcast, which will also most likely be E3 theme related. So expect us to talk a lot about E3 next podcast. So... Thank you again for watching and see you.